YSU to require masks this fall. An Austin Town firm makes an offer for a property in East Liverpool. And how much does it cost to send an elementary student to school? Find out on today's Daily Buzz. Hello everyone, welcome to the Daily Buzz. I'm Mike Moliterno. After receiving feedback from students and faculty, Youngstown State University has updated its COVID protocols for the fall semester and will now require mask wearing indoors even for the fully vaccinated. In an online survey sent to students and employees, YSU said 77% of the 3,000 respondents said they're vaccinated. The most suggested safety protocol was requiring masks. Currently, all scheduled in-person classes will be held on campus and face-to-face. An Austintown-based firm is trying to purchase the former East Liverpool Motor Lodge for $500,000. TRK Properties has paid $5,000 in earnest money and proposed a $295,000 down payment for the property, which was built by the Aslan Corporation in 1982. The property was gifted to the East Liverpool Community Improvement Corporation in 2016. TRK operates on-demand counseling in East Liverpool. No details as to the potential use of the property have been released as an agreement has yet to be reached. For the 11th time, Huntington Bank and both local chapters of the United Way are making sure students returning to school will have the supplies they need. Officials with Huntington and the United Ways of Trumbull County and Youngstown in the Mahoning Valley are providing about 600 backpacks full of supplies to be given to students in Trumbull, Mahoning, and Columbiana counties, as well as Mercer County, Pennsylvania. We do have a lot of children that go to school with nothing, so it is important for them to get off to a good start and, and walk in that first day. Most of these backpacks go to the younger children. Many go in nervous, not knowing what to expect that first day. I, I can't imagine, uh, you know, having to go to school and not being properly prepared or not having a backpack or some of the things that they need for their education. And I think this is a great opportunity for us to give back. A 2019 index released by Huntington estimated the cost of fully equipping elementary students with supplies, technology, and extracurricular fees is around $1,000. And it's, it's a big number for families who this year more than ever might be struggling to make ends meet. And Junior Achievement of the Mahoning Valley has raised $42,505 with its first ever golf outing. The inaugural Swing 4 JA Golf Classic was held at the Lake Club. The funds will be used to help students with financial literacy, identifying career pathways, and preparing for work. And that is going to do it for today's Daily Buzz. Be sure to check out Maggie Young's After Hours Report at our sister site, AfterHoursYoungstown.com. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Mike Moliterno. Seven Seventeen Credit Union, business services designed to meet your daily needs: commercial loans, business deposits, merchant and payroll services. Seven Seventeen Credit Union. It's knowing you were treated right every time. Thanks for watching the video. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that little bell for notifications. And also make sure to connect with us on Twitter, Facebook, and LinkedIn. For all of your business news, visit businessjournaldaily.com. For all of your arts and entertainment news, go to afterhoursyoungstown.com.